Welcome back, boys and girls, to another week of the great adventure, the life of Joseph. I'm your host, Adventure Joe, and this is my... Bill? Bill, are you sleeping? Bill, wake up. Bill, Bill. Oh, come on, Dingles. Yeah, let's go get some ice cream. All right, yeah. Is that a hot dog? Oh no, it's chasing us! Run, Jangles! Run! All oh right. no, jump over that! Jump over! Come All on! Right. I gotta Come put on. an end to this. Hold Let's on. run! Be right back! Keep going, keep going, it's right behind us! <laughs> Whoa, that! <laughs> Gnarly! Well, I was having the craziest dream. Well, well, I'm glad you're awake now because we're actually getting ready to talk about some more dreams during the life of Joseph! Joseph is about ready to have a couple of more experiences with dreams, and you won't believe the dreams that are in this one. So let's get ready for another week of The Great Adventure, The Life of Joseph. I'm so ready. Let's do this. For those of you who are new to this adventure, let me tell you a little bit about Joseph. Joseph is a godly young man. He had some dreams. His brothers sold him into slavery. Joseph served in Potiphar's house. Potiphar's wife lied about him, and he went to prison. Joseph was blessed in prison and told some guys what their dreams meant, but he was forgotten and left in prison. Very good, Bill. And that is where we start our story today, with Joseph in prison. And now, another person is having dreams. But this time, it's Pharaoh, and he is so troubled about these dreams. Have no fear. Joseph the Dream Man is here. Let me guess, Joseph gets asked to tell Pharaoh what his dreams meant. You are absolutely right. You see, the cupbearer... <laughs> Don't be afraid, kids. It's not a real bear. The cupbearer finally remembers Joseph and tells Pharaoh about him. So Pharaoh brings Joseph in and tells him his dreams. Wait a minute. I actually remember this one. The first dream that Pharaoh had was about seven big, fat, beautiful cows grazing along the Nile. And then suddenly, seven skinny ones came up and ate the fat ones whole. But they were still skinny. You're right. And the second dream was the same, except this time, seven skinny heads of grain swallowed up seven fat heads of grain. Whoa! That dream totally reminded me of the time I ate seven skinny cow ice cream bars, but then I felt not so skinny. Uh, that's, that's very interesting. I, I don't think it was at all like that. But Pharaoh was very disturbed and was even a little frightened by these dreams. Da 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 da! Joseph's here to save the day. Joseph not only told Pharaoh what the dreams meant, but he also told Pharaoh exactly what he should do about the dreams. Whoa! That's amazing! Joseph trusted God, and God helped him know exactly what to do. You are exactly right. In fact, it says that Pharaoh said to Joseph, There is no one so discerning and wise as you, Joseph. And then Pharaoh made Joseph the second most powerful man in all of Egypt. The only person that was greater than Joseph was Pharaoh himself, and he gave him all sorts of gifts. Yeah like a brand new dune buggy and his very own ice cream machine. Well, actually, it was more like a huge house with lots of servants. Wow, I think Joseph's dreams are on their way to coming true. I think you're right, and it's all because Joseph trusted God. Which brings us again to our big idea, I can trust God to help me. Whoa, that's too good to do just once, so I think we need some help. Everybody stand on up. Awesome, awesome, here we go. Right, one, two, three. I can trust God to help me. Excellent job, boys and girls. Well, I can't wait for next week as we learn more about the life of Joseph. The Great Adventure.